Hey guys, welcome to the 10th and final day of my 10 days of fall. This has been so much fun. And of course I saved the best for last. You guys, this cup, I, I am so excited about. Okay, I just had this vision in my head and it came out better than I even expected. This is my plaid peekaboo mug. And I couldn't be happier with it. I am just, I am in love. Like this, out of all the fall cups this year, this is my absolute favorite. I do have a giveaway on the glitters I used and the epoxy, so check that out down below for details. I am so proud of this cup. I'm so excited about my 12 days of Christmas coming up because of course you guys know that that is coming soon, too soon, and I have big plans for that, so. Yeah, I can't wait for all the giveaways that I'm doing. Thank you guys so much for watching my series. Check out all the other days if you haven't already. And let's get into the tutorial. So we're starting off with this Hydroflow Parker mug. I've used this brand a lot and I really like them. This was $14.99 at TJ Maxx. So just taking off the lid and the packaging. Then I prepped with Mattify and an abrasive pad. Then I am spray painting metallic gold just as a base for our glitter. Then I ended up losing the footage from glittering the cup but honestly, this video is already really long and it's basically just using the epoxy method to glitter the cup. The top glitter, the brown one is Cove, the middle one is Dusk, and the bottom one is Golden Hour. I just thought it would be really pretty to have the different tones in there. So I did that and epoxied it to make it nice and smooth. Then I'm going in with Ivory Silk, Stone Gray, and Nutmeg. Just those are my three colors for our plaid. The first thing I did, it was tape off the handle. I wanted the handle to just stay gold. So just taping that off so that we can do our plaid. So then we're making the base, the ivory silk. And you can see, I definitely do not have a fully smooth cup, but that's okay. We're just gonna use the distressing in those areas. So don't worry about it. So once that was dry, we're gonna start with our plaid. I am using two different sizes of the painter's tape so that it kind of gives us, it's not just like an even squared plaid, it kind of gives us those different shapes. This is also definitely easier to do not on a handled mug um, but I just thought this would be really cute on a mug. So I made it a lot harder on myself <laughs> and had to work around the handles. This technique I learned from Danielle at Damn Fancy Creations. I will link her channel and her plaid video down below. I had never seen a spray painted plaid until I watched her video. So then we're going to use the smaller tape as just like a guide of spacing the larger tape. So you lay the next one down and then you peel up the smaller one and just continue to do that around the whole cup. And 
and it's not completely even, but I feel like the end result, you don't really notice it. So I'm gonna take that stone gray and we're just doing a very, very light coat of the spray paint, just like a dusting. Now this plaid process can seem confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. You just have to make sure you get the steps right. So then peel that off and you can see it's definitely more gray, but it's not like a full coverage gray. So next we're gonna do the vertical stripes. So I'm using the larger one as the spacer and I'm just starting at the bottom. So then I'm taking that gray and just going on with a little bit more than we did the last time. Also spraying the bottom a little bit. Then I'm also taking the nutmeg and just going, doing like a little light dusting of the nutmeg as well. So then our next step, you're gonna leave that tape on there and you're gonna replace the tape basically where it was on the first time we spray painted. So the lighter cream sections with the larger tape, we're replacing the tape back on there. So then I'm taking the gray and kind of going on with a heavier layer. As well as the brown and going on with a heavier layer of that as well. And yes, this looks like a hot mess of garbage right now, but just trust the process. Once we peel it off, you'll see. So then just peeling off all the tape. Then you start to see the plaid look come together. Now you could leave it at that. I just wanted to add like the little striping in between, but because this is a peekaboo, I couldn't do like pinstripes or um, like nail tape. I marked all the centers of the squares so that I knew where half the halfway mark was. 
And we're just doing little tiny lines to paint a darker brown. So you see it's just a really fine line there. So I just go ahead and do the whole cup. Then I'm having to work around the handles again. Then I'm taking the London Gray, which looks more like a dark brown to me, um, but spraying and making sure to coat those little lines heavily so that we get a full coverage like line in there. Then just peeling that off. And you can tell I definitely did not stick those down as well as I should have. Just make sure if you're doing these little lines that you really stick the tape down. So then we're gonna go the other direction with those really fine stripes as well. So just peeling off all the tape. And I removed the tape from the handle as well since we're all done with spray painting. Then it was time for distressing, so just using some acetone and some paper towel and just kind of rubbing off the paint where I want the glitter to show through. I always do the whole top rim and the whole bottom. Then I go in with a Q-tip and just clean it up and just make sure that there's no cloudiness from the spray paint.
Then just anywhere the spray paint was not looking great is where I did the distressing. And that's what it was looking like after I finished the distressing. So then I did another layer of the epoxy. Then it was time for the decal. I got this little decal from Etsy. It just says farm fresh pumpkins hand picked. So cute. And I cut around it so that I could see kind of where we want it on the cup so we can do a like spray painted bleach spot. So I kind of checked where I wanted it. Then I'm taking the flat white Rust-Oleum paint and just spray painting just right in that area. We don't want to make it too big of an area. Then going on with that nutmeg, just like a little, just to give it a little hit of it so it's not pure white. Then just taking acetone and cleaning up around the edges and where I don't want the paint, just making sure that bleach spot isn't too big and it's just where we need it. Then using my transfer tape to put the decal onto the cup. Sorry about this angle, I don't know what I was doing. Then I did one more layer of epoxy to finish off the cup and it was done. I seriously love this so much. I love the peekaboo. I love the distressing. I love the plaid. It's just all the things that I wanted it to be and more. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. Thank you guys so much for watching the 10 days of fall series. It was so much fun. Let me know down below what other series I should do. And that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.